Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for joining me today here on TCM. Our afternoon continues now with a film noir that has a unique gimmick. It's Lady in the Lake from MGM in 1947, starring and directed by Robert Montgomery. Based on a mystery by Raymond Chandler, the film features Montgomery in the role of Chandler's famous detective, Philip Marlowe, who's decided to give up sleuthing to focus instead on a career as a writer. But his plans abruptly change when he's called into his publisher's office and asked to track down the publisher's wife, who has mysteriously gone missing. Robert Montgomery had long since established himself as a popular leading man in Hollywood when he made Lady in the Lake, but he aspired to be a director as well. And with this film, he got his first chance to direct a feature on his own. He used the project as an opportunity to try out an experiment he had been wanting to attempt for years. He was fascinated with the idea of filming an entire movie from the point of view of the main character, with the character appearing in the story primarily as a voice heard off screen from behind the camera. He tested this process in Lady in the Lake, using the camera as a stand-in for the detective, and this movie broke new ground as one of the first feature films to demonstrate this subjective camera technique. The technique required special sets to be built so the camera could move through them, and the actors had to face the camera rather than ignore it. See how you think it all turned out? I, for one, think it's pretty fascinating. From MGM in 1947, also with Audrey Totter and Lloyd Nolan, Lady in the Lake. The executives at MGM knew that Robert Montgomery wanted to start directing films, but they didn't initially support his ambitions. Then in 1945, while starring in the World War II film They Were Expendable, Montgomery got the chance to prove his talent behind the camera when the film's director, John Ford, suffered an injury and a replacement was needed for the last three weeks of filming. Montgomery stepped in to finish directing the movie, and MGM soon came around to the idea of letting him direct another feature. He was assigned to this adaptation of Raymond Chandler's novel, The Lady in the Lake. But when he presented his plans for the film, studio executives responded with confusion and anxiety. They didn't like the idea of their big star remaining off screen for the majority of the film. And Louis B. Mayer was extremely skeptical about any movie that might be construed as experimental. In the end, Lady in the Lake was not a major box office hit. And shortly after making this film, Robert Montgomery parted ways with MGM. Up next, Harry Belafonte, Inger Stevens, and Mel Ferrer star in a post-apocalyptic film from 1959. Don't go away. Next on TCM, the world, the flesh, and the devil. Then, Bugsy Malone. And later, the Bad News Bears. Take two with PTA on TCM Tonight.